So yeah, I was at this party. Let's go, we're going to your place. Are you okay? Never better. I hate it. I decided to live with a host stranger to get revenge on my fiancé without understanding how this revenge will end for me. And it all started an hour ago. What do you think? Why the hell are you dressed like that? Where is your apron? Honey, I'm supposed to be an assistant manager starting What Monday. are you talking about? You're a waitress. Put your apron on now. The boss will be here any minute. But you promised... I made it all up just to get you in bed. What? Yeah. So what? Your life is ruined? I'd say anything to get a girl like you. But you can be a manager. You're not even the best waitress in the house. You know what? Get out. In one moment, my boyfriend destroyed not only my hopes for a career, but also our love. That was only the beginning. I've never been so humiliated. Maybe you should just... You're beautiful. I'll do anything for you anytime. See? There. Look at this. Thomas gave it to me. He was so thoughtful and sweet and, and kind to me. And when my old world seemed to be falling apart, a mysterious stranger was already heading into my life to start it anew. A pendant with a zodiac sign on it? Jesus, Mia. Are you still in high school? You think I'm stupid too? That's what he thought and... Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, handsome. You girls are the prettiest in this bar. I love you. <laughs> but it's you I can take my eyes off of. With the chip line. Oh, it's not a chip line. You are very attractive. What's your name? I'm Emily. And this is Mia. Mm, Mia. Do you like me, Mia? No, I don't. You sure did. What can I get you? You know, you should look for the other hungry ladies in the bar. I really appreciate your sense of humor. I'll be at the bar. Girl, it's Jacob Brown. Who? The hottest bachelor in town. No woman can resist him. Mirror, quick, give me the mirror. I realized it was time to put an end to this. It was time to get back at men for taking advantage of us. Now they're going to pay. You understand? Only that I think my friend is nuts. <laughs> this handsome man, like all men, uses woman. I bet I seduce him, make him fall in love with me, and then I dump him. Oh no, are you serious? Yeah. I bet a hundred bucks. Soon he'll be crying for me. At that moment, I decided, in front of the former, to live with a handsome stranger. But when I got to his house, I was scared. Take off your clothes. So quickly? I mean, take off your jacket. Here you go. And what's next? What do you mean, next? You pour the wine, you have a drink with a girl, and then what do you do? What's your strategy? Turn on the music. Music, wine, compliment. And then? What's the final tone after which girls jump into bed with you? Lighting candles, I guess. How trivial. They say the smell of patchouli is one of the best aphrodisiac. Oops, sorry. Pies. Does the handsome pickup master cook? And what's your signature dish? Vegetable pie. Vegetable pie? And who was the last person you made it for? 
Uh, I can't remember. Will you cook it for me? Please. Try just once to go off the plan. Get ready to taste the most delicious pie of your life. I couldn't take my eyes off of him. And not just because he's insanely handsome. Something about him had changed. He wasn't the pompous Barfly, but the smiling guy you couldn't help but fall in love with. Here we go. My signature vegetable pie. Your verdict. It's disgusting. What? You destroyed me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's really disgusting. Sorry. Don't get upset. It's like man in the kitchen is sexy as hell. I knew you had a crush on me. No way. <laughs> you know, you're different than you were at the bar. He was someone else entirely. Why do you need this Casanova mask? To avoid getting into a serious relationship. What's wrong with that? I had what bad experience. You know, Cancelling the wedding is not the nicest thing in the world. And then I realized behind the Casanova mask was a sensitive, kind guy who had once been hurt. So had I. I couldn't hide the truth any longer and I decided to confess my plan to Jacob. Jacob, you know, I was so resentful of men. Anyway, that's why I came here to take a revenge on all men, you know. As real as you are. Okay. I never got to sleep again that day. All my thoughts were about Jacob, and my resentment towards Thomas just seemed to evaporate. So? How are you here? You know, Jacob is not like Thomas. He's. He's kind and good, and I feel he would never hurt me. I see. You're in love? <laughs> but girl, a deal is a deal. You were supposed to make Jacob fall in love with you and leave him. So, 100 bucks is yours. <laughs> and you did him. You got your revenge no, for all of us. No, but I really fall in love with... Sorry. Wrong table. Jacob, Jacob, wait. You asked me who I made the last vegetable pie for. So I tell you, you were the only one. I thought you were special. I didn't know what you were really like when Emily and I were betting. And that I would feel so good with you and that I would like to try that disgusting pie again. What a meeting! What? You came to ask for your job again? Her ex. Turns out nobody wants you. Sorry, darling. We don't have any openings for January. Is this how the employees talk to the customers? What's it to you? Do I know Is you? it Jacob Brown, the owner of your cafe chain? Yes. Nice to meet you. Jacob Brown, Jr. And I'll be sure to tell my father it's time to clean this place up. Yeah, 
Go to work, Thomas. This place is short of waiters. You'd make a pretty good restaurant administrator. Only then did I realize if you've been mistreated, you shouldn't act the same. It's finally! Woo! After all, trying to get revenge can cost you your own happiness. Hi guys! Warm welcome to our new Love Buster channel made by Dramatize Me Team. Nice to see you all! Subscribe to this channel to watch our newly produced videos about love and relationship. And of course, don't forget to like and share this video. And see ya!